Okay. Hey, everyone, and welcome to the TU Animation Industry Club podcast. I'm your host, Murat, um, and joining us today are joining us are our guests. Um, yeah. Um, I'm Yafet Banks, but I go by Yadi, and my social my Twitter is at True Yadi Banks. And this podcast is brought to you by Sylvester Krista. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, um, I'm uh, I'm Jay. Um, um, and what what else do we? Talk I mean, about you can talk you can talk about your social media. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, I have an Instagram. Uh, it's at jellyfishgirl11, a lowercase. Yes, and there's two underscores. There's, there's I, there's an underscore after jelly and, and an underscore after fish, so feel free to check me out there. Mm-hmm. And I'm Marcus, and my Instagram account is Tussle Baton314, all over Case Letters. Um, yo, what is up? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Aiden with the Y and not an I. Yeah. Follow me at Aiden B. Boyson on Instagram, but that might be changing soon. But I'll say it in the comments. See, why you said that was like that one teacher from Gumball? Hashtag, yo! How you doing, fellow kids? <laughs> oh, 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 wait, hold on. Hold on. No, that's real, real quick. No, that's Speaking of r slash fellow kids, so um, my, my, at my work, um, a bunch of posters are being hung up to teach like employees how to dispose of trash, and the banner said "trash talk," trash talk instead of TikTok. Oh, no. Wait, I've seen that. Oh, in the Weiss markets? No, not the Weiss market. I just like saw my new people talk about like, talking about throwing trash away and like, all the cool eccentric ways they just toss trash in the trash on TikTok. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> This is getting out of hand. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're, we're doing this in introductions too. <laughs> all right, okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's, yeah. let's get let's get introductions okay. out of the way, then we can go on the tangents. All right. Hello, my name's Agana. Find me on Instagram. Hi. Uh, it's your boy Skits, and I went from uh singing Evanescence in the back of a spe- Fences with strangers to <laughs> two guys thinking I have herpes for some reason. <laughs> These are true. <laughs> yeah. These and, are true. And then the, now I sat on something with water spilled on it, and so my ass is wet. Yep. Yep. That's my life. <laughs> that's my life. <laughs> You sound uh, so content today. Uh, um, hi, I'm Naomi. Uh, my Instagram is Sophie, uh, two underscores DG, and uh, I'm trying to do comics. Cool. Okay, uh, yeah, look, we haven't done yet. Uh, don't even bother. He doesn't have his social media here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll forever or have our respect for that. Redundant as it is, it's still. Yeah. So, in, in this episode, we'll be discussing about the steps involved in creating a storyboard, the different types of shots and camera angles that, that could be used, um, how to get started as a storyboard artist. So, and also the small discussion about like the recent incident with uh, Kira Toriyama, yes, close to the end, or something like that. Open discussion. Yes, yeah, an open discussion, yes. Just make sure it's... Yes. So whether you're an aspiring animator or just interested in learning more about filmmaking process, this episode is for you. Okay, so... Uh, okay. Storyboard from script to screen. Storyboarding is a visual representation of a film or animation um, created as a plane and visual uh, the shots, camera angles, and transition. It helps filmmakers and animators communicate their vision to the cast and crew to ensure that everyone is on the same page. The process of storyboarding typically begins with a script. The storyboard artist reads through the script and breaks it down uh, about each scene into a component shots. They consider the purpose of the scene, the setting, the characters, and the actions that are taking place. One, 
Uh, once the shots have been identified, the storyboard artist begins to create thumbnails. Uh, thumbnails are small, rough sketches that capture the essential elements of each shot. They help the artist to experiment with different camera angles, compositions, and lighting. After the thumbnailing are complete, the storyboard artist begins to create final storyboards. The final storyboards are is a more detailed version of the thumbnails uh, with, uh, with the more polished drawings, more specific information about each shot. The storyboard is, uh, is the important tool for filmmakers and animators to help with playing the visual film, communicate the vision and cast and crew to ensure that everyone is on the same page. Okay, how to get a job as a storyboard artist? You know, get the right education. Well, there is no one-size-fits-all education path to a storyboard artist. There is a few things that you can do to increase your chances of access. Many storyboard artists have a bachelor's degree in fine arts, animation, or related field. However, some artists also can come in, come in from backgrounds such as illustration or graphic design. In addition to formal education, it is also important to build your portfolio of storyboard work. This can be done by working on personal projects, taking classes, or internal with a storyboard artist. So build your skills. Um, in addition to a strong educational background, you also need to develop the skills necessary to develop your storyboard artists. These skills include drawing, storytelling, composition, camera work, you know, okay, and another way to get experience. The best way to get experience as a storyboard artist is to work on real world, real, real world projects. This can be done by freelancing, interning, or working for a production company. When you are working on a project, it is important to be professional and organized. You need to be able to meet deadlines and work well with others. You also need to be able to take feedback and make changes on your work. Network with other industries. Networking is an important part to getting a job as a storyboard artist. You need to meet with other artists, producers, and directors in the industry. You can do this by uh, attending industry events joining online forums, and submitting your work to competitions. The more people you know in the industry, the more likely you are to hear about job opportunities. So now for some entry-level positions. Uh, so for the first option is like you could be a storyboard revisionist. A storyboard revisionist is responsible for making changes for existing storyboards. This may involve adding or removing shots, changing the camera angles, or revising the dialogue. Next job, storyboard assistant. A storyboard assistant helps the storyboard artist with a variety of tasks such as creating thumbnails, background drawings, or coloring the storyboards. A junior storyboard artist, a junior storyboard artist is a artist who just uh, starting out in their career may work on smaller projects or under the supervision of a more experienced storyboard artist. Another job position is the explainer video uh, storyboard. So. Uh, these types of storyboards are for videos that range from 60 to 90 seconds, similar to a commercial. The job is to help pitch the customers a, uh, about a product. Um, so there's an example you could find you can find online if you look up explainer company series on YouTube. There's like a whole series that explains what an explainer video does and and how to get about it. And the the last option is to volunteer it, you know, gain experience by joining small projects and such as student films, animation projects, or video games. You want to show that you got involved in a few projects to have samples of your work to in order to eventually get a job as a storyboard artist. So some job sites, um, there's so there was an article on studiobinder.com that had eight websites to get hired as a storyboard artist. You can have access to this on our Discord, uh, so be sure to check out our Discord. Uh, and then storyboardartist.com uh, was uh, another um, article that I came across. Uh, so, in the history of storyboard artists, um, it first began as like uh, pencil to paper and eventually became digital. Storyboarding is a visual representation of a film or animation. Created to plane and visualize the shots, camera angles, oh, wait, I read this point. Um, dates back to the, so the history of storyboard artists dates back to the early 1900s. Filmmakers began <laughs> to use the simple sketches to plan their shots and composition. 
I can't put a gig on Gary did shot at him that like another yeah commercial for that. I edited in a movie for that after time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm real I'm the the the, the Siesta Crystal um Star Wars commercials are or I'm Siesta? Just, I'm, 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 I know I'm like mispronouncing it, but the Star Wars beer um beer commercial edits from Chile are just on top of my world right now. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with them. <laughs> Okay, so as Phil Mil- Mil- Milking, I said Milking, <laughs> Phil <laughs> Milking, <laughs> Phil Milking, <laughs> Phil Milking. Oh, that's, a, that's, that's what companies do. That's what they're doing now. <laughs> cash cows. Every remake, yeah. Cash Phil cows. Milking. For a cash cow. <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> okay. Uh, became more sophisticated, so did storyboarding. In the 1930s, Disney animators began to use storyboards to plan the complex sequences in their films, these, uh, these storyboards were more detailed than the earlier sketches and often included multiple plan panels to show the progression of the action. In the 1960s, storyboarding began to be more of a hand-drawn to digital. The first digital storyboards were created using computer-aided design CAD software, CAD. Um, this software allowed artists to create more detailed and realistic storyboards, and it also made it easier to make changes and revisions. In the 1990s, storyboarding took another leap forward with the development of 3D animation software. This software allowed artists to create fully animated storyboards, which gave filmmakers a, a more accurate representation of how the final film work uh, would look. Today, storyboarding is an essential part of the filmmaking process. It is used in all types of filmmaking, uh, from live action to animation. Storyboarding sports helps uh, fill filmmakers to plan their shots, communicate their vision, and cast, uh, cast and crew, and ensure that the final film is successful. All right, now to the open questions. I guess the big one that everybody wants to talk about is uh, the, that Akira Toriyama recently passed away. Yeah, um, I, I have. Although, I, I have to, like, before I talk, I have to preface this. So I watched Dragon Ball Z, probably everybody here, but I grew up watching it with my brother out of order. So, so, so my main, so my main in terms of story, my I, my main um, source of that is the Abridged series. <laughs> but 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 um, I did grow up, I did grow up a lot. I remember like spending a lot of time playing Budokai Tenkaichi three with my brother. Good times there. So definitely. And he and his style definitely has an influence on like the way I draw and stuff like that. So even though I'm not as familiar with DBZ as probably the rest of you, I, I he still made a like huge impact, and it's a shame that he's gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I used to watch it like like the original Dragon Ball Z series when I was like really young. Like it would often come oh come on late at night. It's, you know, it's, and I would like stay up watching it since you know I remember being like so enamored with like the whole story going on and and, and you know it was you know think thinking about it now is was quite nostalgic to me like like I love it's like I I haven't watched like many of the Newer episodes, but I I still remember like how like how how good it's how good it's been, mm-hmm. you know. Like like Reese, like you know I. Oh, in fact, I'm thinking about like trying to get into it again. Like like also recently, I I bought some like some Dragon Ball like, gummies. Mm-hmm. And they taste pretty good. Are they the ones shaped like Dragon Balls? Yes. <laughs> um, that, to add on to that, or not really, I just rem- I did actually did finish the original Dragon Ball with my little brother like a, like last year. So, um, and it was, I thought the ending was kind of flat. Like I thought it was going to end after the Piccolo fight, but like there's like this side quest with um, Goku and Chi Chi and try to put out the um, flames for um, the Ox King's castle and after that they get married and that's it I, I, I just felt it should have ended like after the Piccolo fight that would have been a good symbol for the original but of course there's the whole like a theme of like Prince of Piccolo 
No, 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 no. no um, I'm, I'm talking about um, Piccolo Jr., not King Piccolo. Mm. Um, I, I think the whole side quest with the um, castle, of the Ox King's castle being on fire, I think they, they should have saved that for Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. It, it was kind of like a plot contrivance for the Ox King's castle. Because... I remember, like, in the original series where, yeah, it was, uh, you yeah, know, it, it was, like, around episode, it might be too strong, but, like, around, like, around episode s- seven or eight, that's where, like, the Ox King Castle arc like, came in. But, yeah, um, Toriyami... Toriyama. Toriyami. Toriyama. Toriyama. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be Sorry. his nickname if we ever like Rickard. change genders. Toriyami. Bro. Toriyama. Hey, I, I'm pretty sure that entire thing with the castle, that was all like filler. Filler, that, yeah. That was in the manga. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, sorry for <laughs> changing, the, changing the last <laughs> letter of his name. Tor- Toriyama. Um, Toriyama. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, I'm a, um, it just enlightened everyone's childhoods. And I have my deepest and most honorable respect for him just keeping stuff private until his, until his death. Because yeah, he was in, some, someone said he was like in development for another Dragon Ball series, but he wanted to keep, yeah. he keep most things private. He's not a people person. So, so not, so not the one where they turned the babies. No, no, that was, no that's no. what he's working. That was he was working. That was he was working. Yeah, Dragon Ball Diamond. 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 Yeah, he's involved Diamond. in that. Yeah. He was involved in that. He, he was excited for it. Right? Right. It's still being made, right? It, yeah, it's still being made. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't stop think it's gonna stop. They can't stop it. I get. Yeah. I guess somebody else is gonna yeah, take, take over. Maybe. I mean, did they continue production when Berserk? Yeah, yeah, it's there, yeah, 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 but they have to end it shortly. But um, he, yeah, like everyone else, he kind of inspired me to get into anime and nerd culture in general. And uh, I can't wait for Sparkling Zero, and I'm gonna cry so hard when I play it. Too. I'm like <laughs> that game better be good, man. Or young. Yeah. 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 It's like uh, you yeah. better. Oh my god, you better have the whole cast, bro. Yeah, don't I'm don't block about, it behind freaking. I'm talking table. about um. Ding ding. Of course, bro. Not. Of course. Um. Who else? I love I love. I'm playing Broly in Tenkaichi 3. Especially if it's a racer can. <laughs> struggle, all, struggle all you want. Let me, let me try to <clears throat> struggle all you want. In the end, and I can't hear the rest of the dialogue because of the sound effects will, like completely blow it out. <laughs> <laughs> Kakarot! <laughs> yeah, a Dragon Ball really is what like introduced me to anime in general. It's been there since 84. Yeah, or eighty six. No, no, no. The, 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 the manga, the manga has the been, been there since eighty four. Eighty six with the anime. A lot of awesome stuff came out in eighty four. Um, Tetris, Dragon Ball, Ghostbusters, Terminator. Um, yeah, yeah. The first, the first version of Tetris came out in eighty four. On the in on the elect, on the Russian electronic at sixty computer. We have lost an absolute legend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if they can be watching a specific arc on one of those, like, uh, like his channels that like, would air in the Super And at some point, like, uh, me and my brother were watching a couple episodes of GT. Yeah. Take it to the Grand Tour. Grand Tour, Grand Tour. Take it to the Grand Tour. But like yeah, it did have like one underrated like a form in my opinion like, that show, and also like at some point I wanted to go back in and watch it from the beginning with some Dragon Ball and stuff. And of course, my older brother has really, really loved Dragon Ball, and it's like really 
My fun. Oh, no. It's fine. Um, my flawless memory is just myself just watching Dragon Ball Z Kai on too long. I was like, the intro slabs part, you know, it was like, Don't stop, don't stop, oh, oh, it's so yeah. Don't stop, don't stop. Yeah, yeah no. Dragon Ball Z Kai, that's what I was talking that was about. Z Kai. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's so. Dragon Ball Z Kai, didn't I? Yes. That was, yeah. Uh, I think it's Z, but I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's all of C. It, it goes up to, like, the cell saga, and then it stops there. It doesn't go to Boo. No, yeah. well, they did. Oh, they did? In Kai? Yeah. Kai? They eventually, yeah. It, I remember they, like, took a break, and then they came back and start, and then adapted the Boo saga. Oh, awesome. okay. And regardless of, like, the influences it has on other forms of media, whether it be, like, like little, like, uh, short gags, or even, like, 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 the whole like story or like um, like art style wise, it still like holds a lot of like impact onto other artists and a lot of people who create like arts and animation. And it's just it's like really beautiful to see. It's I, like I, yeah, I found this um, fan animation movie. I think it was like <laughs> Broly versus the Beetle. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was really animated yeah. so well. Yeah, yeah. What was his name? It's like uh, his name is um, like, no, it's I, mystery. No, um. Instead of him, it was this guy that that, that has like the that uh, had like he's a um, he's a a small like indie small like indie animator and he worked on a lot of movies. He's an international animator and he, he's called um, Eduardo Quintana and he um, it and he had. Um, Developed this like animated short for Dragon Ball Sizing. The anim and he kind of just like animated it so well. Was that the one that got like? Okay. This, this oh, got it. I thought you were talking about. Ed, Ed, yeah, Eduardo Quintana. That's his. That's his name. Yeah. Oh, that's it's so. It's. Yeah, yeah, not that animated short. Oh, what's the name this really called again? I forgot. Dragon Ball Sizing. Oh, oh this was him? Oh, it's, so yeah. it was him. Wait, oh, man. Wait, let me see. Dragon. Yeah. See, I thought I was. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Oh. Huh. I haven't um, seen, seen it. Do you think you everyone... can put it in the Discord? <laughs> sure. On the subject of Dragon Ball, um, have you guys ever heard of Super Kids? Or Super Kids, sorry. No. no. I I'll show you no, after the okay, podcast. Yeah, I'll show you after the podcast is over, but you'll see why I mentioned it after. Whoops. <laughs> oh, yeah, you still haven't gotten a case for way, your phone. If I, if I said Broly versus Vegeta, I'm wrong. It's um, Goku and... Uh... Yeah, I think it is Goku and Broly. Yeah. Um, oh, never mind me. So, um... You guys yeah, that too. Yeah, that, that too. Oh, oh. oh wait, you know, like a new take to Dragon Ball when mm -hmm. yeah, Vegeta showed up in the tournament? Yeah, the yeah. one at the part with where Goku and uh, Chi Chi were fighting and then Broly and Chi were fighting. Yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah. You guys have seen um the remainder the remainder of the Dragon Ball Z of Bridge in the saga, right? Yeah. yeah. So, remember <laughs> the scene um, where like Goku and Vegeta fused and they try to say their names? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Go! Kaka! Go! <laughs> 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 and then Napa died of a stroke. Let me take the story out of it. Probably take it for the next day. Oh, he died of the asphyxiation. Oh, no! Wait, you didn't realize that was the joke? No, 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 no. I'm just comparing it to recent events. No, no. Oh, oh no. no! Oh, what? Yeah, 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 that's. Yeah, for so the, the his cause of death was uh, uh hematoma in the, toilet, in the brain. In the brain. Oh, and it caused a stroke. It caused oh, a stroke there. Oh, oh shit. Well. That oh, was Crimini. Um, that was poorly timed. Oh Crimini. We have to Yeah. Forget forget, yeah, forget everything that you heard. Um yeah. 
Oh, uh, make off the game for us all. Uh, Toriyama has also done a lot of work with video games. Yeah, like Dragon Quest. Yeah, Dragon Quest. Yeah, yeah, so Dragon Quest. Quest. Yes, he was the yeah. lead character designer for Dragon Quest and Chrono oh, Trigger. It's, 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 it's funny you mentioned game video too. games and Toriyama, but hold on. Mm-hmm. So you guys know Dr. Slump, right? Yes. Who's that? Dr. Dr. Slump. That was, his, that was his big manga before Dragon Ball. Dr. Slump. Um, Why have so, I heard of this? It was that like that, really that little girl, I think she's a robot. Yeah, um, here, here. Oh, the little girl oh. with like uh, so purple hair? This is oh, a yeah. purple hair, yeah. Oh, oh that was him? So, so this is an actual um, manga panel from it. That was Oh, oh I remember it now. I know now. Okay. Wait, Arlo? Oh, wow. Oh. You, not, you not see the bottom? Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. It's on. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I showed them the panel where, where um, Sonic is racing a rally. Of course. Oh no! Of course, the Sonic is racing a rally. Isn't there a crossover? Huh? Because it's all copy Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, isn't there a crossover between um Dragon Ball and the Castle? Oh yeah, they cross over a lot. Yeah, yeah, they cross over a lot. I mean, she's even in the um, she's even in the um, Budokai Tenkaichi three. Oh yeah! Oh, did she smell? Yeah. She like I think she like those rocks in front of people. <laughs> oh no, that's wait, isn't isn't that um that's um Mr. Satan? Yeah. 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 Like, you feel like he does, like, does that move or like he like pretend punches you a bunch of times, right? And oh, it doesn't yeah. do anything. Yeah. I remember that. Oh, oh, yeah. you know um in 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 the same game if you if you use self destruct as a um. As a um, Cyberman on Yamcha, she, uh, he dies instantly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's very funny. Oh, I like how they added that thing. <laughs> they made it into a, a Yamcha. I think they made that into a fungal pop. Um, Yamcha's death. Oh, yeah, I was oh, going to no, say I that. that. I was going to say that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Poor Yamcha. <laughs> In, in, Dra- in Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball, he was so cool. But then yeah, Saberman. Cyberman. Yeah. Okay, yep, yeah, you guys were right. What? 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> 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 so, this, so How much? Yeah, I'm talking about Frog Bot. She's the first frog. Um, uh, oh my god! Amazon at $55. Oh, wow. There, there, there's... In, in addition to Super Kids, there's a, there's this one video I gotta show you. About, it, it has to do with Dragon Ball. It, it's it's hilarious. It, it, it like it's like it's always been marketable. So the, so the video is like like how a Dragon Ball fan like he's like in a room of all the Dragon Ball characters like Gohan, Goku, Krillin after the Cell Saga, and he's like ranting to them. <laughs> okay, let me t- everybody in this room. You're all here because of, because of Cell because you messed up. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm going to play the video. Oh, oh damn. Um, Wait, I think I know which person you're talking about. Is he the one that also made a video like the God of War? Or, or like the God's Aspect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, well, I'll, I'll save both videos for afterwards because I don't want to take up too much time. So, um. They really, they really make Funko Pop for like everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is good. Mm-hmm. When do you find yourselves? Yeah, you Dude, imagine you're in the store and you find a Funko Pop of yourself. Oh, there, yeah. there, there was actually yeah, like, yeah, a, there's a, like a Christmas really option um, where you can make like a Funko Pop of yourself, but yeah. it was rather limited. Like, like, like that's a, is it, what is it? they only gave like a few hairstyles, hairstyles to from yeah. and skin tones. Like, mm-hmm. you couldn't really customize it too much. Either have like a Santa Claus outfit or a suit or you look like an elf or something. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I, yeah, I couldn't really see like a vert. Like, they didn't even have like my hairstyle or something. That's why. I, <laughs> Remember when they had like a bunch of Venom Funko Pops? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, with a bunch of characters are, are Venomized. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that before? Just like the uh, average probably. characters? Or? I don't think I saw that. I, I know they made a few Venom. 19 issues of Venom. <laughs> Well, what if they made like a freaking Funko Pop of skin tones? They don't. No, oh, they, they did. Real. They definitely oh, did. They like, don't. They did. Yeah. I think I or e- they either they it was real or fake. I know so like I, I saw it in like the Funko Pop package. I, yeah. Like, I, <laughs> yes. Their reaction. That's going oh, so well. I'm assuming. They made a they made a Funko Pop of skin tones. Hey, mom, you've got to be. Oh, they have already. Wait, are you actually serious? 
Well, I mean, I was made actually made joking. Yeah, here, here. Yeah, they I'll made show you right now. There's no way. No, you see, like, we already saw a fucking yeah. Lego set. Oh, that's of cool. This. Yeah, so I'm not surprised. Like, they venomized a bunch of characters. There he is. is. Oh my god! 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 I lost oh, faith in humanity. Is that real? Contributing to the skinny. Yes, it's real. Hey, mom. No. Okay, we're officially in the babble oh, part of the podcast. Hey, you know Kamen Rider? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, toilet. Put the sign in toilet. There you go. Now you can see it's got to go. It's not filled up. The world is empty. You know Kamen Rider? I'm going to. I swear. Okay, well, since we're in the... Wait, oh, wait, do you want... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, um... This is bad, sorry. Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could ask, like, the storyboard-related questions. Um... If everybody's kind of... Does anybody have anything else to say about Toriyama or just... uh, Hey, guys, 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 guys. Oh, does uh, anybody have anything else to say about Toriyama, or should I just start going to, like, the other questions that are, like, storyboard-related? Oh. Yeah, I think it's kind of legend to be talking about like the storyboard thing. Like, like so kind of board. Board. Well, we, I mean, you guys were here until like 12 o'clock last, uh, last the other week. Yeah. True, true. So, like, you know, it's like, like whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, I can go through these questions quick um, if you guys have any opinions. Uh, what is the more, most important thing to keep in mind when you're storyboarding? Um, positioning. Mm-hmm. Positioning. Mm-hmm. Um, clarity, even though like, I had said this before, but. Even though you can be rough with storyboards, um, it the, the more um, the the less rough you are, the more easier it is for your animators to draw yeah. poses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So be rough, but also be like aware. Be rough, but not you can be, be rough, but not be, too rough. Be formal with your drawing. You can be rough, but just be formal. Also, communicate with um, the person who does the scenes before you. Otherwise, you get continuity errors. Yeah. 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 And also, know how to like. Like, you know, compose, just, like, a scene. Just, mm-hmm. I mean, it's not and, you know, keep it, like, it like consistent, yeah, unless like you're intentionally changing something. Mm-hmm. Okay. What are some of the best software or programs to use for storyboard? I mean... Hey, uh, what, what are the best... What do you guys think is the best software you use for storyboarding? Um, I, I, I'm pretty much used to just using pencil and paper. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, you can, I mean, you can set it up so that it's like a storyboard. I mean, storyboard is just less animation. You can just... Um, personally, um, I... Um, um, I just stick. I just um, stick with the animation software that I use. But I'm also like developing my own software um, for to work to like help with timing in animation. I was gonna show it off tonight, but it's not. It's not in. It's not ready. Uh-huh. Um, I'll, hopefully, I'll have it ready next week to show to you guys. But it's. I'm. I'm calling it either um, the Viz, VizX Visual Exposure Sheet or the Visual Animation Timing Tool. That, but um, yeah. Hopefully, I'll have a work. I'll have a working prototype to show off, and I'll, I'll if you guys, like, if you guys, if you guys want, I can like give you copies of it. Once I like give us, once I give you a demonstration. So once again, this is not an. This doesn't. This tool doesn't make animation. It just helps with timing. Yeah, but it does a unique tool. Oh, I'd love to see it. Oh yeah, just have I, I can, standalone software. It's really. Good. I, I I can like. Pull up what I have so far mm-hmm. on my computer. Okay. Yeah. But um, I how long I want to like, take you to develop it. Um, I've been working on and off for like the past like couple months, <laughs> and and then, like I said, on and off. So, <laughs> so this is my like second revision coming up. But um, um, you can go on with it. Yeah. Um. So Phil Davis recommended a software. Um. Uh, a free software that was called Storyboarder, which is like a free software you can use on Mac or PC. You can find it on one wonderunit.com slash storyboarder. And then there's one for the iPad called Storyboard Animator. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pro- I'll probably put like it put it in the description, um, these uh, free free software. Okay. 
how do you think storyboard will evolve in the future? I think definitely AI is going to have like a hand in storyboard. Oh, I, I, I yeah. have actually have good news in regards to AI. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I saw a video um, where this lady was talking about how scientists are predicting a possible crash in AI in the future. So, okay, so um, let me explain on the chalkboard how. Yeah. What, on the chalkboard. chalkboard. Ladies and so, gentlemen, he's going to back to the future this shit. What was that? Oh, the Albert Einstein is... Okay, this is not good. good. <laughs> he's called a Dr. Sorry, Who in this... He's Dr. Who in this bitch. Okay, yeah, like a yeah. dollar... Um, Dr. Who. It's like a dollar oh, for back here. Oh, it's like a pack of 50 of them you get for like two bucks. Okay, it worked! So, My time machine worked! Imagine this as the AI. Okay. So the way the way generative AI works is it pulls from like other sources. Other sources. Yeah. So like uh -huh. movies... So movies... From script. So if you make the Tel te crappy, television and games, games, any other media, either. yeah, and as well as like books and other crap, but I don't have time to. Yeah. <laughs> so um, and this is and so specifically human made stuff. So it draws, so it draws from all of this and spits out. Uh, spits out whatever, whatever, whatever that's all that completes. So. If companies overutilize AI, eventually all this stuff will be made by AI. And it'll feed upon itself. And as a result, the, the possible output could become more and more generic and crappy. So that's like a possible like downfall for it. And, so, keep, and keep in mind, this is all theory. Yeah. Yeah. I hope Makes that sense. Happen. That Listen, I have another theory. Like, Listen, AI copying I have another itself. Game theory here. Oh, oh, Aiden, oh, Aiden has a theory? Okay, oh. Aiden Pat. So, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Aiden Pat. The new Pat. Aiden Pat. Yeah. <laughs> it's my middle name is Patrick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, oh, my God. It actually works. Hey, oh, hey oh, viewers at home, my middle name is actually Patrick, so I'm... So it's 2024. Um, so generally, the stuff that we create now, it's we rate it as like maybe the best thing or maybe the worst thing with film, TV, games. So if years pass by, like 24, and then. It's, Onward into the future, it, it'll be unknown or unknown or or uh, kind of just a, a fog of whatever we do. So, if we make our content just crappier, then <laughs> an AI <laughs> so would be able so to. So you're saying we should sabotage our own work? To, to, um, to bring, bring the, down the AI industry. <laughs> oh my god. I mean... That could be a possible solution. Yeah. Okay, so... Anyway, my male name is also Patrick. Oh, oh, is Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> this, this is like a this whole Patrick. This is a reverse skip, um, Squidward situation. You're Squidward. I'm yeah, you're Squidward. You're Squidward. I'm Squidward. Is there anyone yeah, with Squidward? Squidward. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so back to what I said before. So um, um, the person. So the, the scientists gave like a possible way out for AI. So unless they um, the, the AI like deliberately um, randomizes things. But here's the problem with that random isn't always good. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. I, 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 so I can come up with an, 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 an so so I'm gonna come up with an original idea for a film. Um, boy saves the world with clock arms. Okay. That's random, but yeah. would you find that entertaining? No. It depends. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. It depends on how it's done. I mean, I mean. I mean, the big the, stuff, the, the brand I can't brand what do you think they like turn back time? Like, I'm yeah, dying. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, is that? what do the clocks do? Yeah. Um, oh, is it so just the like, clocks like are, the, the, he has clocks for hands. Like, Edward, Edward should have hands. But, but like, what do the they clock, do? They the do clock, anything? The clock do they have any powers? Or like, like the but it's just like random ass clocks. No random ass clocks. So it's fucking useless then. Dude, we should. 
we, 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 Buggy. Redundant. Redundant. So, 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 ju- so just for fun, we're going to call this a theory of Lupin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we add these four elements into whatever year span, whoever's year span that goes on for AI. And the AI industry will eventually die. Crash. Yeah, God, because we have to like advert like our entire like exactly. form of like what we think is entertaining because <laughs> it can be people that will make like whole revisions because they don't think like a certain like scene or form of media is really satisfying. So I feel like yeah, just like turn everyone so boring. We like, take everything so mundane. Yeah, the AI on, wouldn't have work. You'd have to yeah, turn yeah, it to the point that everyone thinks High Garden Spice is so good. Oh my god! <laughs> no. I remember that the show. I I I know like people say you should watch at least three episodes of a show before right, that, no, that, no. Be, before. Wait, but like after five, five minutes. Have good opinions about which? Wait. So wait a minute. Okay. So um. Hey, 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 so, um Magic school thing with the girl and the pickhead. Oh my yeah, that, so, that okay, so, that let, let, me tell you, let, let me tell you about how I watched the show. So, somehow, yeah, I know that. so I've only, I've only seen, so with High Guardian Spice, I've only seen two episodes, and I saw them by, and I saw the two episodes by accident. So, I saw episode two, thinking it was episode one, and then when I realized, oh, and I, I hated episode two, so I was like, "Oh man, I had to watch episode one, and I didn't even finish it." Oh my <laughs> the, 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 so, so the first episode of High Guardian Spice is literally just filler. It, there's, there's no substance. It's, it's a nothing burger. Nothing, nothing yeah, no. The thing is that I watched the entire thing. It wow. literally. It wow. Wow. Oh my god! I, 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 I wanted to at the time, Why? and you know, and you know what? Hey, you I mean, like show? I like. At the point, like at that time, it's like I didn't want to like let the whole internet like uh like determine like my own opinion on the show. That's so fair. So I That's watched fair. it. Yeah. So even and I did come out with the same opinion as everyone else, and then I of course like I also like noticed like instead of like just having a blank a blank stated opinion, I actually built it based off what I saw myself yeah. instead of what like, I heard. What, 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 yeah, I heard that. Even after I saw a controversial trailer when it first came out, I was still willing to give it a chance, even though there's hardly anything to go off of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, after those two episodes, I couldn't take it. <laughs> yeah, and on top of that, watching that gives you such a good example of how not to write a story or animate it or create characters. Everyone create their a story. Own. Okay, so right. Quick question: the 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 blacksmith character is she a boy or a girl? girl. She's a girl. I legit could not tell. You couldn't. I couldn't. Could Wait, how could? How because could she doesn't have like the canonically cartoony eyelashes. Oh, oh. makes sense. But everyone else does, except for. <laughs> all the all the uh, it, 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 so here's a funny thing about the show. Like, oh, the the show's awesome. called High Guardian Spice because because the creator said. All but the, everyone's a. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's a so a, so so the creator name so the, a herb a herb herb yeah. So oh, okay. um so the that creator named it High Guardian Spice because all the characters named after Spice because um the main character. Bark, rosemary, sage, thyme, I mean, but okay, but all all person. those are all those are herbs, herbs. not spices, <laughs> not yeah. spices. Oh, wait, yeah, and you've heard the. Uh, so I wanted to name something after spices. I wanted to name them, them after like the spice yeah. girls or something. Old like, spice. Name <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> Stop. Oh, that's great. Right. Right. Yeah, right. spice, baby spice. Uh, Weren't they? Uh, they uh, spice. Uh, 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 Terry Crews. Weren't they? What about the Terry Crews? Old spice. Hey, hey, guys, guys. Weren't they like named? After, like the four main characters, like named after lyrics in Scarborough Fair. Oh, actually, the song that song plays in the show. show. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's like part of the uh, background score. I don't know what to say about that. It like it like it's like, like subtly in the background. Scene. You can hear. Mm-hmm. 
So they're, they're named after the hands. <laughs> provided by my interpreted dance. <laughs> thank God, Yaga. Thank God, Yaga. You can't see this. Yeah, I can. <laughs> no, am I wrong? They don't want to see us be crazy. They don't want to see us be crazy. Trust me. Yeah. They would take it out of context and just start making gifts of you dancing. Memes. Fair enough. How many movies? Yes, memes. Is it your chip on there? For the for the uh, commercial. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yes, yes, I did dance around. Right. I could make gifts out of that. <laughs> you don't say that. Wait, Greg, uh, Greg, okay. Greg, Greg um, on the floor is not like a picture. All right, um, if I minimize, no, it, no, if no, I no, minimize it, it's not going to stop the recording, right? It should. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm I'm just gonna. Like, I I want to show you guys Super Kid real quick. So um, Super Kid was a Korean anime. And you notice it might look slightly familiar. Uh, Wait, what? Oh, 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 <laughs> why the fuck is it a dialogue? What? That's a movie. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Is this, is this an hour long video? Yes. Yes. It's like, okay, it's, like nearly, it's like nearly two hours. It's a whole movie, bro. Wow. No, no, this is a movie. Or it's an OVA. They just put oh. it all together. Okay, so I knew the audio, so does this character look familiar at all? Pan? No, no, it's Bulma. It looks like Bulma. Uh, yeah, Pan. Wait, what? Is this Bulma's daughter or whatever? No, this is oh, no. official. No, oh. Pan is Wait. Gohan. Pan is, Pan is Gohan. The, yes. The, word, the girl from Gigi, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah Gohan's daughter. Uh, wait, she, when did... Okay. Oh, wait, here, here's a... Here's a um, He's gonna do a, um, a, a casting call. Go, so that's, that's the main character. Nice. Oh go, 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 is that what's supposed oh, to be? Oh! Piccolo! So, you got a plan? What's the plan? Mash Rossi. Mash Rossi. It looks like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Captain Falcon, but without his back! <laughs> <laughs> Captain Falcon looks way cooler than that. Look out there. Bro, Rock Pile is fucking cool. And Chi Chi? Goshi. It's Yasha the Beard. Yasha. 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 So, yeah, it's pre pretty much a knock knockoff of Dragon Ball, which is. You see a lot okay. of, like, it's Korean like, knockoffs, because there's one of. They did one of Tron. Like, the original Tron. Um, just really? Like, yeah, on. Just like, so it's, 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 it's called Savior of the Earth, but everyone just calls it Korean Tron. Captain Falcon was way cooler than Having ever seen the anime. Damn. I've always seen the meme. Falcon Punch! Okay, so here's the, here's the, like the, one of the final clips. So this is from Korean Tron or Savior, Savior of the Earth. I know, I, I wanted to mute the audio for copyright reasons. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I could definitely see it. Oh, oh my god, he's Oh wait, you no no you have to hear the villain. No no I'm gonna un <laughs> it because you gotta hear the dubbing. You gotta hear the dubbing. You you, you have to hear the dub of this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. They're, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh wait, in this in this uh, movie, this that character's more Flynn. Oh no, my shoe broke. Now I'm dead. 
Oh, he disintegrated. What's going on? Oh. Okay, so for, for context, I'm going to show you the inspiration behind that scene. So, Tron versus Sark. So I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna, um, that's his name. Uh, yes. Okay. So this, I'm actually gonna have to mute this because this is Disney. Yeah. And Disney World. Yeah. 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 The worst in Nintendo. Oh, sorry. And also, sorry for the poor quality. This is the best I can. Oh, it's the exact same thing. Yeah. 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 It's cool. It's cool. Slowly polygon. The Medicaid is in the distance. And even down to the final blow. But with the movie, he split his head open, so. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is like one of the first movies to use CGI. Oh, we, we talked about this in the last yeah. meeting, actually. Yeah. Oh, um, I left early, so I don't okay. know. Um, so, the, se the second video I want to show you. Um, after. So, oh. Now, um... Okay, so, um, Murat, can you mute this part in the edit, please? <laughs> sure. Um, so I'm gonna, I am gonna unmute this, but it's, 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 Oh, is it? Alright, why aren't it looking pretty good? It's, um, it's, it's Mal's world. world. No, it's yeah. Mal's world. It's yeah. annoying so far. Oh, yeah. oh, oh I saw the start, I just want everybody to know, you're all here, because every single one of you fucked up. Because of y'all. Because of y'all. Alright, first off, it's you. What made you think that you can take on a form that had perfect, because I didn't believe him. Because I'm a dumbass. Plus, <laughs> it's so easy when I want to try to write it. Right? And that's it's why you've never had a significant job right? a day in your life. Like, you just. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I've been sitting here people before. What are you talking about? Really? King of the Elves. Andrew 19? Andrew, that wasn't part of the plan? Really? Zarbon? The Zara? You you happy? They have some rules. Really? Queen? 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 <laughs> I don't think you realize how much I miss this version of you going yeah. alive and done the shit sure. in the future, alright? You was on top of the world. So we're saying two strongest niggas in the Z world. Yeah, you probably won't sell it. You had a chance to finish it. And that's what you're saying. I want to see them suffer. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, you are a passive yeah. issue. You have never been taught to like that. Yeah. You are suburban. suburban. That's oh, like it. You're one of the smartest people in the show, and you made a dumbass decision to keep him alive. Congratulations, nigga. Your dad is dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, listen to what he said. So, thanks for asking. That's right. I'm talking about it. My fault. Yeah. yeah. That's what you're talking about. You know, you're not talking. <laughs> 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 you just almost endangered the earth. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. He's true. He was brought by the Dragon Balls. Oh, he's too cold. Okay, I'll give it. At least he at least he got something like Vegeta. <laughs> Shut up, Because I swear to God, Cutter, if you didn't pull her, you would have been the most hated nigga in anime. And I want to guarantee that shit. I want to guarantee that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I could do that. Can't get that far. You know what? Let me give you credit. Everybody here was talking about, oh my God, why did you throw Gohan to the fire? Why would you do that? I was one of those people. And then I took a step back and thought, you know what? I was in the high quality time chamber with my son. I don't, I don't know what going on is capable of. And, and look what we got. A super saying too. So I say, you know what? Let him cook. Let him cook. Really? I appreciate that. Well, my God, we kept him in the kitchen for far too long. He was over. He was essential being to sell. Until he thought of selling juniors. Because as I'm watching, I'm confused like, damn. Why are you getting thrown around like y'all trying to Tuesday? 
Not <laughs> shut up on Tuesday. Why would you bring a full bag of sensu beans if you're not going to use it but throw it to the enemy? Are you dumb? Like, I promise you, if you wasn't the main character, you will be on fraud watch. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After the podcast, can we watch the one about the the gods after the oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's now? Uh, do you still do you still have any questions left? Just um, I do. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 all right, all right. Okay, I'll go. Yeah, let's get the, let's get the questions over with, then we can. Okay, what are some of the challenges of storyboarding? Um. Um, just, I, I think um, like planning communication yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess like yes. oh, cool. Oh, cool. Sorry. because um, mm-hmm. everyone has like a character manual of you have to do it, you have to be consistent with like the character's like arm or the character's mouth or the character's eyes and yeah um, for the line of direction if like if you want to do like um, complex poses which you transition in emotions is hard to keep that up because people people might take the easy way out <clears throat> and do like a minor a minor setback and just make like the the poses like easier to their comfort instead of just following the manual I'm not saying that happens mostly but it'll be like a one time thing like I would say the biggest difficult part is like when if you become a storyboard artist for a new show because right there you're kind of guessing like how the show is going to end up like if you end up on on like maybe something like Family Guy or The Simpsons they already have like uh, at least a visual of like that you can reference of like how other storyboard artists would have been doing it over the years, but if it's on a new show, you're pretty much get guessing um, or doing like an estimate. But at least you'll be working with the art director. I would say that the hardest one is drawing the specific time for like proportion, mm-hmm. or like not proportion, like like the perspective, and especially like drawing like a background scene. Because I realize it's a lot more harder to do when, like, when you have like a perspective that looks a lot complex when you draw it rather than anything. Because sometimes you can have like a perspective that makes sense to you, but like when you attempt to draw it out, it doesn't like it doesn't really line up as the way that your brain like computes it and shows up like your head and stuff like that. And it's like yeah, it and like, sorry. But to add on to that, some some like complex like camera movements and stuff like that can be difficult to illustrate on paper. Or, yeah, yeah I was add on that too. I, I was going to say that. Yet, yeah, for for me at least, it's kind of difficult to know which uh, which kind of like camera angle I want to portray and how to like portray it, and also like. Letting each scene like transition to yeah, each other smoothly. Hard. It, it is really hard to do camera angles in two D, especially for the line of motion. Because if you're, if you want to like do, um, if you want your character to be like in an establishing shot, and you can make your camera. Uh, let's say. Sorry. Uh, this Come has on. to. Uh, this has to do with what we're talking about. I just want to get it ready. Continue. And um yeah, if you want like if you really want like more advanced and more immersive line of motion, it's hard to I'm just gonna say it's hard to do that in two D. Um course. with uh I guess the 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 uh, line of motion indicating um where the camera is going to go your screen. There is a solution. There is a solution to this. So this is um something they tackled in the making of Empire Strikes Back. So um you've seen have any of you guys seen Empire Strikes Back? Nineteen eighty four. Um so the Battle of Hot. So for that they used um they used um animatics. So you'll see here in a second. This is reference footage they shot for the ATAT walkers. And it'll cut to the Animatics. 
Oh, they use the elements as a reference. Yeah. Is that a reference? That is... Well, here's the animatics. Oh! That is Loki's screen. That is Loki's screen. I like the one shoved in. <laughs> So we are showing off the animate the animatic for the Hawk sequence in Empire Strikes Back. And here's the final one. Oh, okay, let's go mind then. <laughs> but um but um even before um Empire Strikes Back, so George Lucas in the first Star Wars movie was for reference for the VFX people in at Industrial Light and Magic, he, um for the space battles, he used um Footage of World War II um, plane fights, dog fights, Yeesh. and in and in the future with Temple of Doom with the minecart sequence, um, Spielberg and Lucas actually used um, miniatures and action figures to illustrate the scenes. So if you look hard enough, you'll find like Indiana Jones figures and minecarts racing around. <laughs> so yeah, that, so that's that's one way to get around the um, camera yeah. movement issue. Yeah. Just rotoscoping something in real life. Mm -hmm. Well, not rotoscoping, but just like using real footage. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, actually, U using a reference. Uh, oh, oh, it's, it's it's interesting you should mention that. Um, it's interesting you should mention that. Hold on. Um, Disney actually uh, was doing that since Snow White. Yeah. Um, but I want to show you. Um, yeah, the wife of Snow White the, is. Uh, I think she is the, the wife. The, the wife. The wife of Snow White. I mean, the Snow White herself is rotoscope. Because like uh, the animator who did her was actually based off of his wife. That that's wife. yes, yeah. it's his wife. Okay, so um, here's I'm going to show you guys um, reference footage for Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah. oh, compared to the, oh. so yeah, Disney um, relied on um, reference footage for their animation here. <laughs> Small little. Looks like ladybugs. <laughs> kind of. I don't see them. It's the red outfit. <laughs> that looks like Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But well, you guys get the picture. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so another another way around it, shoot reference um, pictures, mm -hmm. movies. I have a pretty one to show myself. You can use this for 3D as well, instead of 2D. Oh, the 3D would be this. Hey, um, I was in an animation class once, and we were talking about rotoscoping, and as an example, I brought up that one uh, Kanye West music video. Uh, which one? Uh, the one? The uh, gay fish, or no? Uh, <laughs> Heartless. Oh, oh. Whenever I think of Kanye West music videos, I think of the Roblox one. Oh. He's such a... He's oh, such a... Oof, oof. I love it. Oh, oh yeah. And the noise. You've seen this before? Well, I've seen this, but I've seen the model. Do you know where this is from? So, yeah, it's yeah, from yeah, yeah, I was about to say it's This is all done in Maya. All of it's done in Maya. She's a... This uh, animator, she's a YouTuber, but she also works for... Um, Val? No, the studio that does... Um, I had in time. Oh. oh. She works for the studio that does... Yeah, that is, oh, and nice. This is the this is um the YouTube like one channel. of the like practice uh like practice uh animations that she does. That's awesome. So the YouTube she, channel he's showing know, is what? Hannah Bailey. Wait, no, how? Annie 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 but Annie but Annie. she has a, another YouTube YouTube channel called Italian Movement. Mm -hmm. But here here's which this is so funny. Italian. 
she she did a Dragon Ball parody as well. Uh, <laughs> it is so fucking funny. Hold on. Oh my god, the Omen. I heard about this. Yay, kids singing. <laughs> This reminds me of the um, the only play that you know it does. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes you fuck out the Xbox. Oh, fuck out the Xbox. So far, mm -hmm. in with my animation program or animation assistant. I guess I'll just uh, I'll let me I'll just wrap this up. So that okay. Yeah. Yeah, All right. right. Wrap it up, Eddie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it's almost, it's almost ten. It's almost ten. <laughs> you guys got somewhere to be? It's a Friday. We've been here since twelve it's before. Since I've been I've been because got the twitch. That's why. I have a constant fear of yes, people I want taking to out my right now, but I'm trying to suppress it. So okay, so um. I mean, I really have nothing really. I have nothing, but like, I have nothing in my laundry yeah, I'm so like the, the stuff in my Well, I have a ride waiting for me, so, 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 so the, the idea, so, uh, if you guys, it's kind of awkward from doing it backwards, but, um, so, I'm, just put it in front. Okay, so once again, this is still work in progress, but the idea is you put your storyboards here, and you have like little guidelines to have different like aspect ratio and stuff like that. You have four by three and all the way up to ten eighty p. Um, and you have like storyboards here, and then you can place frame markers by using the mouse. So I'll place a few, and and the default is set to twenty four frames per second, but I'm gonna, in the future I'm going to add higher frame rates. So, say you want to have a ball bounce from here to here. Now, in the storyboards, just imagine a, ball, a bouncing ball storyboard. You could like use your free hand to, to uh, imagine to draw the animation, pretty much. And all these circles indicate where the ball is going to wind up in space and how far apart they are from each other. And what you can do is is a highlighter tool where you can um, highlight the frames, and it will. And this counter here, once I have it up and running, will tell you how many um, frame markers are highlighted. So you can count, have an easier time counting how many frames you need for this part of the animation or that part of the animation. And and that and that's it for now. So I'll try to have a working version next week so I can show you guys. And if you guys want, I can give you guys copies. But that's what I have. Are, are you planning on like selling it? Um, no. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm just going to give it away. Oh, that's Fair nice. That's free. Free. For free. Free. All right, I'll <laughs> put a link free. in the description eventually when Yadi uh, releases it. Yes. The, his software. <laughs> yes. I like an, I like an ice cream about this high. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do I owe you? <laughs> Nothing. It's for free. 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 <laughs> free. <laughs> I miss Stefan stuff. Oh, yeah, he, he's with he's with Tori Hour right now. Oh, why? Oh, <laughs> why, bro? Why, bro? Why? No, no, no. They're doing number. They're doing them here. 
He's doing the um, We Are Number One dance with them now. <laughs> no. Uh, he died like a while ago. Yeah, it was like, like a few, few years. Like, like five, or, five or six years ago. Yeah, like, oh, is it really that's a long time ago. It feels like hey, You don't have to take the script of these. Oh, people. sure. Take the script. Oh. Yeah. Because I and, remember uh, when he plays here. talking about oh, it. Thanks. All right, to our listeners, thanks for coming out. If you stayed for this long, be sure to um, like and subscribe on YouTube or on Spotify where this uh, podcast will eventually come on. Slowly, slowly, I do want to add all these rec- um, all of our podcasts eventually on Spotify and other platforms. I just haven't had the time to do it. Oh, yeah. Um, so we tuning in next week. Oh, yeah, so I, I what, what would you guys like to talk about next? Um, oh, I'll be home next week, too. Oh, yeah, that's what pretty great. Uh, I have, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. These are lies. Hey, could, yeah, yeah, you, you have a final? Yeah, 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 Like, late afternoon? Wait, what's going on? It's going to be, our class is like 11 to like 11. Is it all the way next week? We already have a final. I mean, I feel like the whole mental strain. So working on that final. Okay, so like, what do you say? Okay, so how about like the week after? The week after. The week after. The week after. Well, we're we're about to go on spring break. I mean, after next week. Next. On like the seventeenth. Yeah. I'm dropping Thursday. Seventeenth. That's that's that week. Yeah, I'm going out. I'm probably going out Thursday. Okay. What's class going right. on? I'm just here and I have to work on Saturday. Um, we'll be, um, yeah. anyone still listening, we'll be back like after our spring break. So, don't miss so too what? much, guys. Don't, don't miss like, too we'll much. be out like, yeah. like, uh, March 15th, I think. Yeah, and yeah. we'll be back, um, March like March 25th. Yeah. yeah. March 25th. Yeah. Yeah. March 25th. Oh, nine. Sorry. Nine. Nine. oh yeah, I'm switching yeah. his microphone 29. off. 29th. Uh, 29th. Yeah, 29th. 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 